You're watching another Nerd Stalker interview. My name's Sean Murphy. I'm co founder and CEO of Andy OS. I mean, in the simplest way to put it, would be it allows you to run mobile applications on your PC. Um, and you know, to kind of think through more like, what does that mean? How do people do it? It's you know, being able to run a mobile game, play a mobile game on your PC, being able to run a messaging app or a social app, let's say like Instagram on your PC, things that you can't do natively. Andy, as this full feature mobile operating system, and it's an Android operating system, um, because it's built on a virtualization technology, means you can run it anywhere, which means you can run apps anywhere. And when I say anywhere, I mean any other kind of computing device that's not a native mobile device, because obviously Android can run on that just fine. Um, and so that's, that's, in a basic sense, what Andy does. Well, so the product launch April of 2014, uh, I met Yossi and AL, uh, I want to say, probably a year before that. So maybe even earlier, maybe like January, February 2013. Sure, yeah, you know, it, it's been an interesting thing because they're actually, um, there's probably more than one, but there's a particular company that is in the same basic space we are who has made it their mission and their model to go after developers, to provide this kind of virtual development environment, virtual development platform, and so on. Um, we have the technology foundation to do that, and although we haven't gone after that market per se, you're right, I mean, developers use Andy a ton, and in fact, we started a Facebook support group when we first launched Andy because, you know, tiny company, we weren't even funded by then, we had no support, no QA, and so we started this Facebook group. It has since grown to nearly 40,000, almost all developers who come and contribute, whether it's QAing, so we've had you know certain developers become admins of ours who work for us and give us feedback on the product. Um, so I think to your question is, um, what developers say has been hugely impactful for us because they're looking at us and saying, this is awesome, this helps me solve problems, and here are ways you guys can make this better. Being able to play games in a very basic sense has always been present. I mean, you, you can go into the Play Store, you can install it, whatever. So that, that's always what the what we did do, what you may have read, is um, two particular features that lean into that experience. One is uh, a keyboard mapping tool, so that if you are playing a game with your keyboard, you want to be able to use keystrokes to do certain movements, right? So things that would have been through a gesture like swiping, you want to now be able to do with your keyboard. So we built a keyboard mapper that then allows us to map games, which we've done. We've mapped already thousands of games. We'll continue to do that. And so that's kind of this whole idea of like, okay, I'm already in my PC. I want that native experience. So now here you go. The other one was um, facilitating integration of Xbox and PlayStation controllers, uh, which to me is just, again, leans into this broader interest on the part of gamers of, I just want to be able to play the game that I want, the way that I want, regardless of like, you know, what it was developed for. And so the more we can give our gamers the ability to do things that feel just, you know, I grew up playing console games, so now I can use this joystick to play this mobile game I love, you know, that's awesome. So it's just more features that, that our users are going to like, and so far they, they have been.